good morning it's wednesday october 18th and we are i think in speyer germany update um we both have <laughs> the same cold <laughs> luckily it seems to be just a cold no fever so our voices are sketchy we're pretty exhausted but we're gonna push through today yeah that's the consensus right now we have to get off the boat yeah. Well, Apparently today, once we get off the boat for the walking tour, the boat just like dumps us and goes. It continues on to the next place. It's finally early enough where we can get to breakfast and not like have to scarf food down. <laughs> we leave at 8.30 today, so still kind of early. This is today's outfit of the day. It's supposed to be like 40 degrees right now outside. It's supposed to go up to 60. So they say, but maybe not while we're out. Okay, we're waiting for 8 30 to come around and then we can go meet everyone for the walking tour um but i wanted to show the view the foggy day on the river but the sun's coming up it's really really pretty i feel like it looks a lot better in person i'm almost done with my coffee scott's looking at the schedule he just took tylenol uh, this is a call for all guests those on the included tour that's groups a b c d e and l it's really chilly out here you can see my breath that's my husband and then this is our tour guide we're just waiting the traffic man is holding a pretzel because this is pretzel capital. Pretzel capital! <laughs> we're at the front of the church now, and we're told that this bowl here needs to be filled with wine and drank every time a new bishop comes to live here. It's and huge. the last time it was filled with was 2008. Oh. We finished our walking tour. It is like 44 degrees out right now, but it says it feels like 40. My hands and my nose are, and ears are ice cold. So we stopped and got a hot chocolate and then some pretzels. Our tour guide said that um, the town we're in is the home of pretzels, but that two other towns in Germany claim that. Here in Munich mm -hmm. and the Schrittenheit. What are you going for? How was this? Where's it going? Oh, yeah. Was I bought a headband, I bought a scarf and gloves because it's freezing here and because I have a cold I uh, need to bundle up. We're on Main Street right now. Down there is the church that we had our tour near. So now we're just kind of walking the street. We have about another 30 minutes now until we have to meet back up for the bus. Scott and I are now going to the church to go and take a look inside because we couldn't do it on the tour because they don't allow tours in. Yeah, they don't allow tours in, but they let like groups of small people. Individuals. Does, yeah, in, <laughs> individuals in. No. Little the carving into it too. So we, we missed this. We thought that the the organ was mostly that over there. And on the back side, you could see in some of the other pictures or photos. But apparently there's this they're all Yeah, they're all they're all nicely polished pipes. We're back from our walking tour, but the ship, I guess, just docked, so we're all waiting to get on board. They're still kind of bringing it in, tying it down and such. So for lunch, my starter is this lentil soup. It smells really delicious. Scott also got the lentil soup, and then we got even a starter to our starter, but I didn't really like it. I'm not wasting it. Okay, got it. They were just making announcements over the um, intercom for a certain room to check in because uh, I think I mentioned earlier, yeah, that the ship is now leaving. It's 12 o'clock, and 
we're leaving port. We're headed to the next destination. So anyone that's still on land is screwed. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but we're moving. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Took a second hour nap. Got in the exact same clothes, but I don't know if I showed my outfit this morning. Wah, wah. No, I am going there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're... I like natural career. Well, you don't get a say. I know. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go down, get our dinner, and then if I'm feeling up for it, we're going to go explore the town of Rudesheim. That's where we're docked until 8 a.m. Um, here we get a little dessert out in the town. Who knows? This is the specialty menu for tonight. All of it sounds really good. I'll probably do the starter and the dessert, but not the Wiener Schnitzel because I don't like veal. So I'll pick something off of this or this menu. We got an evening apple juice for dinner, which pairs nicely with my meal. <laughs> we just finished dinner. <laughs> and now that we're in Rudersheim, and we're leaving, the boat leaves tomorrow at like 8 25 a.m., so we don't really have time to explore it. We're doing a little late night walk. Yeah. There's trees, but you can't see the trees. But. Yeah, you can't see the trees. I'm sure during the day it's beautiful right along the river. Scott used his nice head on his phone to take a photo, so if it focuses, that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. You can't really see anything here except black. <laughs> we did our little late night walk. We worked off our dessert. I had the matcha lemon cake with ice cream and we had the yeah, apple tart. I think you took the one bite of the the lemon cream, it was really like, or it's not curd, but the lemon and stuff was very, very zesty. Yeah. And I got the apple part, which coiled on all the sudden you wanted all of it. <laughs> I only have. But you wanted all of it. But we're going to walk back to the ship now because we know that nothing is open in town really. We kind of just want to look around, but on the ship tonight at 9 p.m., they have some sort of glass blowing event where they're going to show us glass blowing, I think. I'm really bummed if it's just like... Like, yeah. looks like a video or something. No, they're going to be modifying, I think, some existing pieces of glass that they need to heat up with a torch, mm. I think. The Georgian is nearly two times hotter than the Georgian. And when you work with a very smooth glass and take a tear, sometimes the hot glass and glass is a little bit too hot for the glass. to us and there was the option to add rum so we know Scott did it <laughs> he 
took a splash at 10 a.m. 17 of them in the wall in the back there. Really, really very impressive. Tower. 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 Castle walls. And they've already called for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're up in front of stairs. The rest of the group's doing the ramp. We made it up the stairs and the group is still not to be seen. So it was a good move. I'm just out of breath. Uh, the Maxburg is a unique castle here in the Middle Rhine Valley because it's the only one that was never destroyed or conquered. There are a lot of castles every three and a half kilometers. The next castle, uh, most of them are fell to ruins or have been rebuilt in a different style, some in the style of Rhine Romanticism, completely different. Here we have the medieval stronghold, 800 years old. The horses came through here? Please come all in and find a safe position. There you can see the coats of arms in my back. This one. Two down, one behind, two behind. The fifth is the one you have to come up with. And we found a lot of this because the Arsenal had a problem with the water. The water was often unhealthy, so to further choose down the one, it was actually then very 3 to 5% and it was possibly between the ground and the grave. The meter, the, the walls are three and a half meters thick, so that's actually the thickness of the walls in this castle. The doors are closing. And we, and we have the whole thing to ourselves. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> Should I run back and forth to get it to rock? No. Why? I love these little miniature versions of things. We're uh, about to go with this. <laughs> That's good for this little burger look thing. And it's built entirely of food. Well, not entirely, I think we're back. 
Let's see if Corn notices. <laughs> she knew. She knew. Beautiful. But what's it for? It's just for art purposes. It's like a slate wall thing. We're going down. We should have things on here so we can squeeze it off. Yeah, this side's pretty clear. Yeah, that side is pretty clear. Who this? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a walk around town now before dinner. It's cute. Very adorable. <laughs> so annoying. Oh my God. So you're in on this Friday, October 20th. Um, and we are in Cologne. I don't know if that's how you say it, but... Um... <laughs> this guy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to say it either. I just know that the, uh, the program director said it before, and, and it wasn't that, but it is that. Anyways, we're up. We've had breakfast. Today's the first day we decided to skip the optional walking tour. We're docked, like, right in, in the city, so as soon as we get out, we mm -hmm. can go walk around and explore things. But this city has a lot of museums um, and a couple that we want to check out, so they don't open until 10. It's about, like, 9 something now. So we're going to break away from the group today and just do our own thing. It is a rainy day, but um, we bought our own umbrella, so I think we're set. The lighting in this foyer is god awful, but this is, <laughs> this is my little outfit for the day. Comfy shoes, this is a dress, and then I got a sweater on top. Um, my bangs are just, I don't know what they're doing today. They look weird. Here we are on our walk this morning. We're going to the Lint Chocolate. Museum, and we just made that guy go off roading. That was part of my life. <laughs> We're gonna take this bridge to get to the chocolate museum, which I had thought was on an island, but oh, lands. No, there's some sort of like moat going around the outside here. You know, in times of war, you must protect the chocolate first and foremost. Yeah, the water's been pretty low this whole trip. They've been concerned about our boat even being able to make it through some areas. This one's me in the middle, and then that one's Primmy. And that one's daughter. So we're just a gang of chocolate bears. Let's see you lift it. Don't hurt your back. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Use your legs, lady. Use your legs, not your back. Is that what you're most doing? Would you go swimming in there? Like in Willow Walker? I'd die. So no. Hmm. I'd give it a go. For short, our maid. Follow the production process from pouring to wrap production or product. The production line. Oh, it's green now. It's there you go. Now hit. That's where it sucks them up. Oh, it, it hit the machine. I guess. Quality control. Oh, give me that. I'll take it. Yeah, right. They probably get melted back down though. Yeah, it's a huge fondue fountain. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my goodness, that's all chocolate. These people up 
they're actually making stuff. And we're gonna look at them through the glass like they're little fish. Fish? You in a fishbowl. There's the mold for the horsies. Oh, they already did the feet and the unicorn. And oh, because those are different colors. Painting on the hexagons in dark chocolate. This is like artistry. The hexagons? Yeah, isn't it? Pentagon? And then they put it in here to swish all around. That's so fun. Oh, look at the owls. Yeah, for this. I don't know if it's solid or hollow, but it's 23 kilograms. behind this museum building. That's huge. And then they played Minecraft with the windows. 
I'm sure I'd laugh if I knew what that meant. It's pixelated. <laughs> Do you not see it? No. Look at the, look at the windows. It's like confetti. It's pixelated. Hmm. You're kind of pixelated right now. <laughs> so you got me wet. see on the camera but the glass back there is all stained glass very intricate everything you look at is so beautiful and intricate except for these wooden benches <laughs> where they had a bunch of Kit Kats. So we got dark mint, caramel, um, this one's white chocolate, although we got that as a gift for someone else on the boat that we were made friends with and mentioned they wanted it. So, And then there's a bunch of these milk teas that are different colors. Um, so there's writing in another language. So I'm sure they'd be in different types of tea, but I just grabbed them based on the color of the bags. And then we got <laughs> ice cream and banana caramel. 